Hey guys, it's Robin Crusader here, and today I'm just kind of going to show you guys something interesting here because um, uh, during my live streams a lot, I always get asked this question is people always want to chat with me, and I'm like, sure, I have a mumble surfer, instructions on, down below or how to get onto it, and they're like, okay, and they start working on it, they're like, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, and I'm just like, it's not that hard, but okay. So I decided I'm making this video here just to kind of show you guys what to do. Uh, just so you guys can visually see how to do it in case you guys couldn't really understand how to do it with out visuals and my instructions I guess I don't know so yeah so um, let's get to it I'm pretty sure I uninstalled mumble uh, did I uninstall mumble yep that's uninstalled so I'll show you guys here quickly um, how to get to it so loud typing so um, we're on here on Google and Let's make it so you guys can actually see the window. And, oop, there you go. So we're on Mumble here, and or we're on Google here. So you just want to go to Mumble's website, so mumble.com, like so, and it will bring you to a website like this. My phone is ringing. Let's put that on mute because that's annoying. Okay, so we're here on Mumble. And you see this part right here where it says download Mumble. You want to select for what operating system, so Linux, uh, Mac, or Windows. I have Windows, so we're going to just select that. And you can choose to download it with the skin or not. The skin is just pretty much how it looks. Um, you can choose the one. I'm going to show you guys how to actually add your own skins afterwards uh, once we get it installed and show you how to connect to the server. So let's just download the regular one for right now. And ba -ba -da -ba, I click that download please and thank you anytime now here we go give it a few seconds for it to download cancel that one okay or not so uh, it's just gonna give you this little file here uh, the mumble 1.2.8 MSI and that's pretty much just the same as an exe uh, or an executable so uh, what you want to do is you just want to open it, give it a few seconds, and I'll bring up this little window here. You want to just agree, install, uh, make sure it's got client on. You don't really need the server part, so uh, don't worry about that. And I'm quickly, you don't have to do this, but I'm quickly going to change uh, where it installs at because uh, I have weird places to install. Mumble. Okay. And next, install. Okay, yes. Uh, close applications. Uh, sure. Deep. Uh, we'll just, don't worry about that. Let it install. Okay, so now we gotta install. So, we're gonna just have Mumble open up here. Uh, we won't worry about restarting our system. So, um, Let's close that out there. So what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a mumble like so, except it's probably gonna be white and black. I already had the skin installed, so um, it just automatically put it in. So pull up this window here called connection. You won't, you'll see the public internet, which are all these public servers, and then you'll have a blank favorites area. So what you wanna do is you just wanna close that up, and down here there's a button that says add new. You just wanna click on that, and it'll give you a label, address, port, and username. So uh, the label is just kind of like how you want to remember the server. So um, I'm just going to put uh, server, for example. Easy enough to remember, right? And then the address is where it connects. And what this is, is this can either be an IP address or like a domain. Uh, for my server, it's a domain, so let's put that in. RobinCrusader.us.to And then the port's already there, which is 64738. And then a username is just like your username for on the server. You don't really need one specific, so uh, let's just go with Robin for mine. Uh, and then we'll click OK. And then here you got server. And you just want to click connect. Give it a few seconds, and it should connect. And yeah. But I'm going to disconnect mine because I have two of them already, and I don't want to open up a second one. Disconnect. OK. So, um,. Let me just switch over here to the other one. It's the same server. Um, so yeah. 
So now we want to go through and you want to change the skin, right? So here's how you guys are going to change the skin if you don't want to use the stock skin or this skin. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this skin either. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. And what you want to do is you want to download a skin file. So I've got three separate skin files here. And we're just going to install one here real quick. So what you want to go to is user interface. And then uh, if you look around here, there should be a section down here, the second one down, that says skin. And then gives you a link. So what you want to do is you want to browse. And then you just want to go to where that skin is. So GLaDOS, open that up, GLaDOS. And then it will give you the QSS file. You just want to open that up. And then click apply. And see how it changes it all. So let's apply that real quick. I'm also going to switch to a different one also. So let's quickly go to desktop. Uh, Metro 1. Metro Mambo 1. And then we want to open up the dark one. Open. Apply. And OK. So see how it changes it up, makes it look a little bit nicer. Whatever you guys want. So um, that's how you guys do mumble. And that's how you guys will connect to my servers. And you can come chat with me and other viewers when I'm streaming or not streaming. Because I am always on my server 90% of the time. Because that makes sense. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys ever have any other questions about how to do something on the stream. Or um, questions on what server I play on and stuff. Ask out either on the stream or message me either on Twitch or YouTube. And I will either A, make a video on how to explain how to do it, like uh, Mumble here. Or I'll just explain to you guys in that message on how to do it. So yeah, thanks for coming out guys. I'll see you guys all next time.